Hey guys, in this video I want to show you um, how I made this VFX and basically it will be a small breakdown and I'll show all the elements I used in order to create this uh, VFX. Um, so um, let's get to it. So I want to start with two simple effects. The first one is the um, cast and the second one is impact. Um, so for those two I decided to use a um, cascade basically I'm trying to switch to Niagara but I'm doing it very slowly so I'm still I still got few VFX that are made in cascade um, so the first one is the cast and basically this is where the characters is about to um, start the um, the main VFX um, it's made of four elements um, I got simple flash which is just a texture which I'm moving over time um, lens just to create like a glow around it um, circle for the contrast basically so you've got um, a very solid shape and you've got a lens which is very soft uh, shape and those together in my opinion go very well and sparks just to add a little bit more details um, to the um, overall effect the next effect is the impact and to be honest, I'm just using exactly the same elements as I use for the cast, but I'm just manipulating data a little bit differently. So for example, those spikes, uh, they slightly large and they just got different color. So they start very bright and they fade into a, a red color. And the next one is the lens. So I think it's exactly the same lens, but maybe just a bit softer and um, larger as well. I've got the exactly same um, circle as well, uh, but in the material I've got functionality to uh, warp the UVs a little bit. And the sparks again, um, just um, for the detail. Um, also, this effect uh, on the character it seems slightly larger than the cast. Obviously, it's an impact, so um, you want to grab um, player attention a little bit more than you want from the cast. let's now talk maybe about, the, about those two complex VFX. Complex in terms of that I've never done this before and it was actually my first attempt trying to create a setup in Houdini for rigid bodies and import them into Unreal Engine as animation. Um, so basically that's the, the ground break effect. I struggle a little bit with Houdini but I think it was about time to pick it up and start learning properly because um, it's becoming uh, part of the uh, VFX arsenal very very quickly um, so uh, the mesh seems might seems a little bit dense it's um, 10k basically uh, obviously I've done it uh, only for the test and normally in a game I wouldn't import that kind of heavy mesh into the game um, however I believe it could be optimized so if you look at the edges for example it doesn't need that much geometry and it might not need uh, that many pieces as well um, so what I'm doing with the mesh, I'm just lowering below the ground so you only see uh, the pieces that that are up in the air. And the final effect is actually made in Niagara. Um, so basically what I'm doing in Niagara is I've got six different particle systems. Um, so the first one is driver. So what driver does, it's the empty particle system that is set on local space and what it does it's being fired together with the collision mesh on the main character that goes towards the enemy character and because it's on local space I'm exposing its, the, uh, exposing its location to the other particle system that needs to move together um, with, that, with that glowing ground mesh um, so what I'm moving with the driver is the distortion and embers um, so let me show you that. So if you look closely, you can see that Ember is actually being moved towards the um, the enemy and the distortion as well. Um, so basically, this is what I'm using driver for. The next one is the lens. So let me disable the rest of them so we can only have a lens. And what it is, it's just coming from the top towards the main character hand. 
it's just a simple lens that I'm stretching vertically. The final one is, is the light. So um, I think the driver is uh, exposing its location to the light as well and light is actually being travel uh, with the embers and the uh, distortion as well. And the last effect is this glowing spikes that come off the ground. Um, so what it is basically, it's, the, it's, it's a flat plane with a vertex position offset. So what I'm using for that one is actually a flat plane and I drive the vertex offset position with alpha and some noise on top of it just to create this irregular shape and and I'm also increasing its intensity over time using dynamic parameter in the particle system so it starts very low and then it gets higher uh, closer to the enemy it gets um, feel free to let me know what you think if you got any questions um, feel free to just ask them in the comments on or send me direct message um, I'm usually post my stuff on Twitter so I'll leave off the uh, all the links in the description uh, I also got like a, a free uh, noise texture package which I'm using for mostly all my VFX so feel free to just get it um, and yeah everything else should be in the description um, thanks for watching hopefully you'll find it helpful